Welcome back, everybody. If you want to score a goal at a final against your biggest rival, Aye. this is how you do it. Aye, aye, aye. Nice. Look at that. It's a beauty. That's pure. They don't pay me enough money for that. <laughs> <laughs> that was for 1 0. 2 0, the final score for the U.S. against Mexico. Oh, my God. Ooh. It's, but before that. When the ball came to you, it looked like you had already made up your mind that you were having a go. Yeah, of course. Do you know what I was yelling from up here? What? Diagonal! Yeah, diagonal! Diagonal chip. chip. <laughs> That's what Greg was saying, too. They didn't know I had that in my game. They didn't know I had it in my game. Well, I it's said okay. I, I wasn't the, that wasn't in the scout. Mexico didn't have that. Yeah, it's scout. okay. Now they will. <laughs> Are we advertising, Tyler? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. I need this. Getting paid. Okay. I need this one. <laughs> Christian doesn't need it. I need it. <laughs> you, you chill, Christian? You feeling good? I'm feeling great. I'm just happy to be here. Yep. Uh, three P. Yeah. I mean, what can I say? Unbelievable. Have we dragged you guys out of the locker room? Sorry, I didn't hear what you Have said. Have we dragged you guys out of the locker room? Uh, yeah, but I, I mean, we were getting sprayed with champagne. I didn't want to be in there. <laughs> okay, so you're good. Uh, yeah, we're, we're comfortable here. So, Christian, we've been watching you a lot in Milan, right? And we, we've been referencing how great a form you're in, how much you seem to be enjoying your football. I mean, where are you at in your career right now with, with playing in Milan, with how you're feeling, with being back here with the national team? Give us a little uh, uh, insight into your form and how happy you are and everything. Yeah, I'm loving life over there. Um, it's been incredible just to be given some confidence. I mean, I'm sure you can see it in my play and just the way I'm feeling. Um, it's been awesome over there. But uh, yeah, to come back here, win a little trophy midseason. Um, I mean, I love being back with this team always. So a it's a. Uh, yeah. I mean, well. You come know. on, man. Christian, no, no, you know, you know yeah, who's I've been like, saying that. I think it's heavy. I think it's heavy, but. <laughs> you know who's living in Italy and learning Italian? Yeah, which. I feel like we should do something here. Can you yeah. guys have a little conversation? How's your Italian? Io parlo italiano. Oh, oh. Sì. Perfetto. Molto bene. Grazie. So wait, nice. talk to us a little bit about playing on the right versus playing on the left. Um, yeah, I, I never thought I'd feel so comfortable on the right side, to be honest. Um, I still would say I prefer playing on the left side. I think I have a lot of strengths coming in, dribbling with my left foot inside. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, I've learned a lot. Honestly, it's changed my game a lot, and uh, I find ways to get in the box and score goals from the from the right side. Um, and I think there, I have a lot of qualities that I can, you know, do well on that side as well. Tyler, I'm curious because you you had to fight back, right, to get back on the pitch. Yeah, yeah. You spend you spend some time away. You realize how much you miss it. Mm -hmm. You come to the national team. You ball. You score that goal. What does it mean to you? Like, how how did you feel overcoming that that mountain? Yeah, it, it, you know, it's funny because everyone says, like, it's been such a long time and it was a mountain to climb. But to be honest with you, I knew I was doing everything right. I was putting my head down and working. Um, maybe there was a little problems and complications with the surgery that held me back. Um, but I knew when I sorted that right away, I felt much better and I was flying through the rehab. Um, and I always push myself. I want to be training every day. I want to be practicing every day. I want to be improving every day. Um, and when I come back with these guys, I feel so comfortable. Well, you know, what about that patience? Yeah. I, know, I know that's, that's a patience tough word was testing. for you. <laughs> patience was testing. But having, to be honest, having my son was, a, a huge turning point for me you know coming back home every day and having something to look forward to um, off the pitch uh, it was it was a really good moment uh, in my life and in my career to have my son so um, yeah I'm very fortunate for for my son and my fiance um, they got me through that time for sure Tyler I got two questions for you one how special was it to be able to score that goal and to win this trophy in front of your son and two what's the protocol looking like in terms of your minute management when you go back yeah so first minutes when I, when I go back um, I think I right away I can start games and play 60 or more um, um, that's that's the goal at least we'll see if what it looks like in the team the team is playing well at the moment so who knows what changes Andoni is gonna make um, and then yeah scoring the goal in front of my son it'll be a cool moment for him to look back on one day hopefully and hopefully he's proud Uncle Christian over there I see you try to show him that yeah. goal yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, Uncle nah, Christian nah. Tyler do you change diapers I'm a great diaper changer. At first, I was horrible. Oh, my God. Um, my girlfriend was getting on to me a lot about changing diapers, making it too tight or too loose. Um, but now I'm good at it. You got it down? Yeah, I've got it down. Okay, cool. Very cool. This is a very special moment. We really enjoyed watching that with you. I wanted to ask <laughs> awesome you about something feeling. that you you said to Susanna when you spoke to her after yeah. the game. You kind of talked about the fact that, you know, we know that people have question marks about the team, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. It felt like you were alluding to, to questions that uh, there is a kind of a section of the U.S. fan base that talks about Greg and whether he's the right man to lead the team does it irritate the team that narrative I mean I mean you'll probably have input too but 
it's just like I, I feel like the U.S. has always been questioned overall. It's n it's not it's not just now. Um, I think even now more so when we have guys playing at a high level, they expect when we come back that we continue to play at a high level. But the national team, everybody knows the national team is never like that. You saw France, for instance, last night against Germany. Germany wasn't playing well, and France was playing well for a long time, and then all of a sudden they lose two 0 and everyone's t question marks over France. So. Um, you know, for me, we know the confidence that we have within each other and in the team, and we know if we execute a game plan well that we will be able to win games. Um, but it's a matter of coming into camp and having confidence in our abilities. I think a little bit of it comes from also, like, the outside noise of the kind of drama that happened after the World Cup, the time of waiting to see what was going to happen with that situation, how well y'all played in the last CONCACAF Nations League finals and how good y'all looked versus Mexico and Canada. And it was almost like... A little bit of a lull, but you know what I mean? That might be expected. And then, you know, in terms of building towards Copa America and then the pressure of playing in a World Cup on home soil, everybody wanting y'all to do well, get that confidence going. I mean, it was huge for y'all to get that win tonight and get everybody back believing again, even though it wasn't like y'all never had it in you, but at the same time, it was, I think, a little bit of that drama off the field. And now it's kind of, you can see it kind of getting pushed to the side. Do you want to respond at all, Christian, or are you good with that? Uh, no, I'm good with that. Okay. Let's talk about the, the friendlies leading up to Copa America and Copa America in the summer and how important you guys think this is, how excited you are for those matches. I mean, what's, what's the feeling in the team about, about the summer? I think there's a great feeling. Um, yeah, it was nice to get back with the boys here. Obviously, another um, trophy to win, like we said. Um, I think uh, we're on a really good path. We have uh, some exciting things coming up in the U.S., um, some exciting years. Um, ahead of us, obviously, Copa America coming up, World Cup not far away. So I think we're just excited for the opportunity. We have, uh, you know, a lot to prove to the world. And uh, this is just a start. And, uh, yeah, really looking forward to this. And you're, you're one of the guys that's already been to a semifinal of the Copa America. You know what I mean? You, and th there's one thing I wish I would have said uh, to Jurgen. I wish I would have said to him that you should have started in that game. I think you not started in that game kind of hurt us. I think you would have made a difference for us in that game. But being able to have been with that team, gone to the semifinal, I think you can add a lot going forward, what we're looking forward to this summer. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've had some incredible experience, obviously, you know, going back to playing with you, man, and um, that team, you know, going to a semifinal, I think, uh, I think it's going to help me. I mean, I feel so much calmer in these big moments uh, because of times like that and uh, the big games I've played in, so that definitely helps. We, we talked about it after the match about Gio's performance. Because, you know, Gio and the quality that he has, but does, is, can he dig deep? Can he sacrifice maybe playing with the ball to, to work for the team? And tonight, it, it seemed like he was going to do whatever it took to help the team. What, what does that sh mean to you guys, seeing Gio <laughs> kind of put in that performance and, and dig deep to defend and help the team? I mean, I, I've known what Gio's capable of for a long time. Um, obviously, the noise surrounding the World Cup and everything was, was really unfortunate for him, honestly, for him to have to go through that. Um, everything could have been dealt with probably in a better way. Um, but for me, Gio's a New York kid, and I watched him growing up. He played against my brother all the time in academy games, and I saw the qualities that he had. Um, he can do things on the field that not many players I've played with can do. So um, in high-pressure situations, you give him the ball, and he's always willing to compete, and he's always willing to make big plays. So um, for me, he's going to be a very, very important player for us moving forward. Um, and yeah, he just needs to do it week in, week out. And he's just trying to find his way right now. Everyone goes through that moment. I was at Leipzig at 21, and I wasn't playing games consistently all the time either. It's like you go through these moments in your career where you just have to find a way out, and he's doing that now, and I think he understands that. So um, you saw it tonight, you know, what he's capable of. Well, I, I was super impressed. First of all, we thought it was a little strange that he was being used so deep in the buildup. Mm -hmm. However, whenever he needed to defend or run back Always. or win a header or try to get in on a tackle or he gave everything to the team yep. and so that's what we want to we, you know of course we're we wondering why he's in there instead of up the field where he can make a difference and score goals and set up assists but but you can see the togetherness and the commitment that you guys have as a team and the responsibility that you feel to each other yeah. and that that part it's really fun to watch you guys like, get this american team tonight or do you guys have to get on a flight? We didn't get, get to right? celebrate the loud, the first one. We didn't get. To I remember the first, yeah. first, first one. one. That was yeah, depressing. Yeah, y'all had to leave to go to Utah, Ooh. right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that yeah. was tough. That was tough. For a tonight, friendly? Tonight, tonight we will a little bit. Okay, better. good. Yeah, Are you gonna do barbecue tonight? Uh, barbecue. Uh, We're in Texas, not. aren't we? It's like 11 p.m. What barbecue's open? You can't get barbecue at this time. Kate, hey, my man ain't worried. Kate, hey, listen, hey, I'm not man. from here. This is in England, man. Come on, this is in England. My man ain't worried barbecue. about food. He's trying to get on them Trulies. <laughs> you already know. I think he's been on the Trulies. <laughs> um, 
baby number one, right? Very special moment for you. Clint here's on Five six. Go. Come on. He's on six. six. Oh, you got gosh. some work to do. Six is not you happening. No. <laughs> You ruling out six. Ruling out six, 100%. <laughs> All right, yeah. five. All right, five. Three v three in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, great. how's your shopping habit going? How's your credit card feeling? Because you've been in London, you've been in Milan, you're in all these off white. Uh, you know, like, of course now. Nah, these people, these people that the people that know me know that's not me. It's uh, not you. I'm not a shopper. No. Hey, I've been seeing you been playing some golf. We need to set up that match yeah, a little bit. That'll be that'll be a good one. Yeah. All right, yeah. All right we'll good. see what's up when you come I'm back for the caddy. summer. I'm the caddy. I'm, I'm, for, I'm for in for that. Title will be my caddy. <laughs> All right, all right, we'll put some money up. That's a good, all right, all right, right put some money. All right, we, hey, CBS, come film it. <laughs> Wait, well, how good is it going to be? What'd you play off? You have a handicap? Nah, he's good. I'm, I'm a solid. No, nah, I know you're the. I know. I heard you. I heard you're the real deal. Oh, you're gonna have to give me strokes then. I'm like a ten. So. Uh, all right. All right. Yeah. We'll no, you're match. not. You said you were five. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you tried no, to hustle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what I mean, no, no straight up. In the winter, in winter time, I'm a ten, and then in the summer starts to get a little bit better. Might get to an eight. So we'll play. We'll play straight up. Okay. All right, Charlie, you don't play, huh? No, I'm a caddy. No. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and he sits on the on the beach. Apparently, yeah, he sits yeah. on the beach. Yeah. First thing Tyler said, he said, "Why are you so dark?" I know. <laughs> That's the vacations, man. It must be nice. It's not the makeup. It's the sun. The sun. Dominican <laughs> sun. Beautiful. Casa de Campo. Shout out to Casa de Campo. <laughs> yeah. Charlie came back very excited to show off his tan, and all anybody has done is ask, "Is your makeup messed up? Like, what went wrong?" Nope. The nope. sun loves my skin. Yep, sure yeah. does, sure does. Guys, we appreciate you so much for coming thank through. You, thank, thank you, you so yes. much. Appreciate God bless you. Congratulations. Great performance. Well done, guys.